People want to ask me all the time why I'm running. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of them wanting to teach CTR in, in school. Hey, can you tell me what that means? No. Herschel Walker, the football star turned Georgia Senate candidate, is an animated caricature of a black person drawn by white conservatives. Walker is precisely what they think of black folks. Big, ignorant, and easily manipulated. They think blacks are shady or criminals. They think they are tools to be used. The Walker campaign exists as a political minstrel show, a splashy rendition of what white Republicans think black people look and sound like. There is no doubt that Walker, currently leading in the Republican primary for Senate in Georgia, has been promoted by conservative forces because he is black. Georgia Republicans aren't in the habit of nominating black people for the U.S. Senate. The Senate's grand old party didn't even nominate a black person for the Senate during Reconstruction, when Republicans were progressives and Confederates were barred from government. Not a single black person was elected to the Senate in Georgia from either party ever until Reverend Raphael Warnock ran as a Democrat and won in 2020. My dad was a veteran, a pastor, and a small businessman. He used to tell us that if somebody hires you to do a job, do the job they hired you to do. It's something I've tried to live by every day in the Senate. It's why I've worked to create jobs, why I'm fighting to expand affordable health care, and why I work with Democrats and Republicans if it means helping Georgia. If somebody hires you to do a job, do the job they hired you to do. I'm Raphael Warnock, and I approve this message. It is in direct response to Warnock and the emerging power of the black vote in that state that Republicans dredged up Walker. Nor is Georgia in the habit of electing football players who starred at the University of Georgia. I've heard many white folks argue that Walker is not being set against Warnock because of his blackness, but because of his football skills. But you'll note that Georgia has not elected any of their other football greats to the Senate. It's not like the Republicans are running Fran Tarkenton, a white University of Georgia great who went on to a Hall of Fame football career and, wait for it, gave a speech at the 2016 Republican National Convention endorsing Donald Trump. I've known Donald Trump for 48 years. And like those other leaders, I've known for sure he gets stuff done. The it's the football, not the racism argument fails its first contact with reality. Dogshit Mitch McConnell, who recently gave a sermon as to why the first black woman confirmed to the Supreme Court was not morally righteous to earn his vote, had no problem fully supporting this rat bastard to help put him back in control of the U.S. Senate. Herschel Walker, the leading GOP candidate in the vital Senate race in Georgia, you endorsed him. Yet his ex-wife says he pointed a pistol at her head and said, I'm going to blow your effing brains out. Hmm. And an ex-girlfriend has accused him of threatening her life. Why is he a suitable candidate? Herschel Walker has addressed that issue repeatedly over the last 10 years. Uh, I think he's... It's a heck of an issue. Well, he, had, uh, he admitted he had had some troubles in his life. Uh, he's been an exemplary citizen in recent years. Uh, he's a hero in Georgia. Uh, almost every candidate's had troubled uh, periods. I mean, I don't know that almost every candidate has pointed... Look, I, I don't want to argue with it. I think Walker is completely electable. He's actually ahead at the beginning of this race, and we're fully behind him. Mitch and Georgia Republicans want Walker because he's black and Warnock is black. And they think they can defeat Warnock in November if they can shave just a little of the black vote from his base. To be clear, I don't begrudge Republicans their cynical political calculus. I'm offended at their racist belief that any old black person is sufficient for their race-based strategy to work. It is easy to contrast Walker with other black Republican candidates for Senate. Take, for instance, South Carolina's Tim Scott, Republican sunken place. I find Scott to be a mediocrity and a coward. He's a grinning stuffed suit who is more interested in pleasing his donors than serving his constituents. But that makes Scott no different than 60 to 70 other U.S. senators. I, more or less, 
support the right of black people to be as banal and craven as white folks have been for centuries, while enjoying electoral success. That's a quality too, after a fashion. The right to be useless and unimpressive, yet powerful, while black. But Walker can't match even Tim Scott's mediocre level of political acumen. He'd fumble a coffee order from black conservatives Paris Denard and J.C. Watts. Amorosa freaking Manigault would make him literally cry once he went home and Googled the words she used to insult him. Instead, Walker's credentials include lying about being a class valedictorian, claiming to own businesses that do not exist, and having a restraining order taken out on him by his ex-wife, who has accused him of being physically and verbally abusive. Every time somebody sticks a microphone in front of his mouth, Walker displays a level of ignorance that would embarrass most sixth graders. When asked by Trump toady Maria Bartiromo about energy policy this past Sunday, Walker said, You got to remember that the song Michael Jackson said, the man in the mirror, you got to look at yourself and see what's going on. You know, this country is a most, you know, this is one of the most environmental drilling uh, countries in the world. But yet we're walking on all the resources we have underneath our feet. Make it stop. It's awful. He later added that there is no food on the shelf, as if the Publix is now being stocked by Marie Antoinette. He's also said that something called dry mist can kill COVID and asked incredulously, why are there still apes pointing to their existence as proof that evolution via natural selection is not real? At one time, science said man came from apes. Did it not? I've, That's when you know, go I, to the every, science. Every time I read or hear that, I think to myself, you just didn't read the same Bible I did. Well, well this was interesting, though. If that is true, why are there still apes? Think about it. Walker is so bad that his team decided to keep him off the stage and skip the first Republican primary debate on April 9th. Of course, Walker has been endorsed by Donald Trump. I just want to thank him again for all you've done for me, not just for endorsing me for this Senate run, but we've been together for a long time. And I said it a long time ago, a great man, a great leader. And I want to be a leader like him when I get to that Senate seat to show everyone I love America. Indeed, Trump's endorsement of an ignorant neophyte who cannot be trusted to debate in public and who is suspected of domestic abuse is the most conventional thing about the Walker candidacy. The modern Republican Party has proven that being an ignorant know-nothing who exists as a pure grievance candidate with no policies or platform is not a deal breaker for Republican voters. I have never seen the CDC coming out saying, oh, you've got to get your second polio shot. You've got to get your third. You've got to get your fourth. Georgia Republicans have sent Marjorie Taylor Greene to Congress, after all. But what's offensive about the Walker's content-free campaign of nonsense is that Republicans think this will work on black voters, too. Hey, can you tell me what that means? But women shouldn't even wear pants. Boom! That's it, baby! But I said, I played Russian roulette. Where like, were yeah. you when you played Russian roulette? Uh, I, yeah, I was at home because I love competition so much. I'm Let's explain to people if they don't know what Russian roulette is. You yes. take a gun yes. and you put, this is the worst thing you could ever do. Yes. You take a bullet and you stick it in, in one of the six chambers. And, and spin then the you, cylinder and put it to your head and pull the trigger. And how many times did you I've, play I've that? I've done that over six times. And you know, and that's when I was going through this competition that I just love competition Herschel, so much. This, did anyone say to you, this is completely Were you insane? alone? Well, yeah, I was alone. If somebody had, had talked to me about it, I thought it was crazy because I said, that's competition. That's, that's living or dying. You spun the the. The th where were you? You were at home I by yourself. Home, yes. huh. You said to me, this is a game, and I'm going to play this game. And I if think I'm I wrong, can win. How many chambers are there? Uh, there's six chambers. Six chambers. Yes. You put a bullet in this car, this gun, yes. a revolver, and you spin it. Spin it. And you stick this gun to your head. And then you have the to pull the trigger. Yeah, pull at the no trigger. point you say to yourself, I love living, I love life. No, I, you, I, I don't think you, I, I don't think I ever realized that. I just love to compete, and I thought that was the ultimate game of competition. Wow. And I thought it was ultimate. And then, you know, I but went But you out. don't even have an audience for that if You don't one. have an audience. It was just no. me. If I, lost, if I had lost the game, nobody would have realized. <laughs> Boom! That's it, baby!
late now i remember everything